Before we begin this video, I would like to announce that I will be doing a 3000 Platinum giveaway which is open to all platforms. All you need to do is comment down below what is your favourite Limbo build currently, along with your in-game name and the platform you are playing. I will announce the winner at the end of the month, so everyone can join and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you will be notified if you won the giveaway. Good luck to all of you and now let's begin. Do you still remember the great Hirakon farm? This was the golden age of all Limbo mains in Warframe. Hirashon is not the best way to farm specific loot or resources in the game, but it was once the best spot to farming multiple things that you need in Warframe. Right now, you have the open world areas and the Zariman missions with a pity system that gives you multiple rewards on one farm. But back in my days there was only Hirakon, and it was the ultimate cheese farming method for us if you wanted to farm credits, endo and relics at the same time. This mission was dominated by Limbo mains in Warframe as infested units were no match for the time stop of this Warframe back in the day. All you needed to do was to drop his Cataclysm, then cast his Stasis and just repeat the whole process when the timer for the abilities expires until the extractor finishes extracting resources. Just rinse and repeat the whole process for the rest of the mission and you will end up with lots of credits, endo, axi and neo relics and some mods that you can use or convert to endo if you like. It was also the best farm for cryotics but now it's the duviri circuit which you can get not just the resource but also incarnate adapters, arcanes and resources you can use for the duviri content. To be honest, the farm that new players in Warframe right now is nothing compared to the past farming method in the game. The past missions were mind-numbing and it would take a lot of determination and time just to farm one mission over and over again. Thankfully, Digital Extremes implemented the pity system in the game wherein, if you are not lucky enough to get what you need in the mission, then you can buy it from the pity shop. I just hope that they will continue this kind of thing in the future because I don't like to get back to hours of grinding for specific Warframe parts with a measly drop chance that will lead to hours of time consuming farming. But also I missed the old Limbo since he was so busted against almost every faction in the game except for nullifiers of the Corpus faction. The powerful time, stop ability of Limbo was absolute in the past, halting even Eximus units in their path. Right now you can't do that as these units can shoot Limbo while he is on the rift, which I think doesn't make any sense at all. But instead of complaining over and over again about how digital extremes fuck up the survivability of Limbo, by letting Eximus units hit him while he is on the rift, let's just focus on making Limbo adapt to the current state of the game. So how do you use Limbo right now? Is he still a defensive type Warframe? Or does he have yet another broken synergy that is not intended in Warframe? For now Banish Nisa still works and even Excalibur. When you have Limbo as support for these Warframes, then their exalted weapons will be super busted as they don't need to make room for survivability mods. Instead, they just need to focus on how to mean max the power of their exalted weapons. The same goes with Titania, and I think Limbo is by far the best support for these Warframes. So Limbo is only played as a support Warframe right now. Not exactly, and in fact, there is a specific setup for this Warframe that can deal massive damage while playing safe in the Rift. This can be done by subsuming Yarili's Aqua Blades into the Warframe and replacing his Banish ability. Aqua Blades seems to work while Limbo is in the Rift and after the release of Yareli, I did share a video about an Aqua Blades Limbo breaking the game again again. The synergy was stupid and broken since all you need to do is cast Aqua Blades and then go into the Rift. After that group enemies with the Magus Anomaly Arcane and watch everything die in survival runs. Hell, you can even use this in long survival runs if you have all the time in the world pressing the same keys over and over again. It got even super busted when Digital Extremes decided to add an augment to Yorelli's Aqua Blades, called Surging Blades. This allows you to recast Aqua Blades while active to throw a single piercing blade dealing damage and a guaranteed slash status effect in a small radius. The bubble's damage accumulates when any Aqua Blade directly hits an enemy. So basically all you needed to do was to build for high duration in your limbo and then do the same thing. But instead of just grouping and watching enemies die, you now can stack damage in your aqua blades and throw them to enemies. It made limbo super broken, but then came the Eximus unit that can damage limbo while in the rift. The synergy is still great, but you would need to be careful right now with the Eximus units around. You see, the biggest fear factor right now for limbo is the Eximus units as they completely disrupt your time. Stop ability and sometimes 
Players don't even use Limbo for defense purposes right now since it's far better to stick with Frost Snow Globe than have to be worried about nullifiers and Eximus Units 1, shotting your Limbo. However, there's a counter to Eximus Units and you can get this from the Helminth system. The name of the ability is called Shooting Gallery. With its Muzzle Flash Augment, you can completely halt the action of an Eximus Unit when it gets blinded by the ability. Specifically, blinded enemies will not shoot, move, or activate Eximus abilities. They are not, however, open to melee finishers, but who cares about finisher damage anyway? This is by far the best counter right now to Eximus units, and with this ability subsumed to Limbo, you can say that he can become the god of defense, and he can even be used as a good farmer warframe in the game. With Muzzle Flash, you don't just blind Eximus units, but almost everything that is running towards your bubble. If you take a look at the build, I decided to go with high duration with this one, adding the narrow-minded mod in the process. The reason behind this is that max range sucks for this setup. First of all, Shooting Gallery will crowd control most of the enemies with guns. While this is a good thing, but sometimes I don't want to step outside my limo's cataclysm, as it's much safer to kill enemies inside the ability than going outside. Secondly, I'm a big fan of killing enemies and not just standing inside cataclysm waiting for the whole mission to finish. With narrow-minded in the build, not only that you have high duration, but you get to limit the range of both Cataclysm and Shooting Gallery to the point wherein most of the enemies that are controlled by Shooting Gallery are inside Cataclysm, or very near the radius of Cataclysm. But mind you, the ultimate crowd control nowadays requires you to still kill enemies. Now, you all know that I'm a big fan of the Zariman mission, as it's one of those missions in the game that can let you farm Endo, Helminth resources, and items that you can trade for Platinum, all in one mission. And you know that I have been doing these missions with Mesa and Titania, but this doesn't mean that the Warframes I suggested are the only ones applicable. Limbo is a master when it comes to the mobile defense in Green Way. With a Muzzle Flash and Cataclysm combo, you can ward off enemies until all data has been successfully collected. I just prefer to go solo in this mission, though, as most of the players go hunting the other Void Plumes in the mission. What I usually do is finish all the objective and then rush to the extraction point as quickly as possible. I do this because I only need the Void Plumes and the possible Endo reward at the end. If you want to check out the detailed guide of this farming method, then go check out the link I've included in the video description. The Zariman mission right now is a loot cave not just for Endo but also for obtaining lots of Platinum. And Limbo plays a very special role in making the mobile defense mission a walk in the park, even if it's a Tire 5 mission. Just remember that the mobile defense mission doesn't often have side objectives, that only ask you to keep the shield of the target consoles in pristine condition, or just activate two Void buffs from the mission. There are also side objectives that require you to kill a Void Angel, so you better equip a good radiation weapon that can obliterate even a Tier 5 Void Angel. The best thing about this farming method is you can also gain access to the powerful Incarnan weapon in the game, which is the Laetum, and you can use this with Limbo to farm the mobile defense Zariman mission easily. For newer players, I would advise you to give some survivability in your Limbo like Vitality or the Rolling Guard mode would do since it would be tough to deal with Void Angels in higher tier Zariman mission. It's quite easy if you know the mechanics of Limbo and the Void Angels, but it's much safer to use survivability mods first if you don't have any clue about how the Void Angel fight works. In addition, when it comes to the Void Angel fight, be sure to have your Laetum fully charged with its Incarnan form before activating and facing the Void Angel. In addition, if it's a Tier 5 Void Angel, then don't forget to equip the Madurai Focus for its Void Strike to one shot the ethereal form of the Void Angel. Admittedly, I'm one of those players who don't like the changes to Eximus units towards Limbo. At first, I really think that Eximus units damaging the Warframe in the Rift makes no sense at all. However, after playing the Warframe for a couple of months after the Eximus shenanigans, I find the changes more engaging and less boring compared to just standing in the Rift waiting for the objective to be finished. Having that sense of awareness that Eximus units might be around gives you that urgency to be play an active playstyle for Limbo. Passive gameplay is good, but it gets boring, and when it comes to effectiveness, Limbo can still defend a target, but right now you've got to prioritize killing those enemies that has Overguard and those nullifiers. How about you? Do you like the current state of Limbo right now? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to join the giveaway by simply subscribing, then commenting about your favorite build for Limbo right now.
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Squad Leader signing off.